This means being recorded. Hello, everyone. Hello. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the last time we played was in December. Something like that, yeah. We've been uh, dealing with beginning of semester stuff. Mm -hmm. Except it's totally like halfway through the semester for me, so. This, this, the quarter, I'm on quarter system, is almost done. Basically a week and a half left or a week. Uh, it's week a week and then finals week. So I don't know what to count finals week, a half a week. Um, yeah, OK, so if you're just joining us, you have no idea who we are. I'm Mark. This is Melissa. Yeah. And we are playing this game called Gloomhaven. Um, if you actually care, <laughs> you might want to start from one of the earlier videos. <laughs> the story so far has been long and arduous. <laughs> um, we start off with a couple of characters who were a little squishy. And yeah. um, they were investigating the gloom around the city called Glen Haven and sort of uncovered a plot by some cultists and this woman named Jexera to like, I don't know, corrupt the city or something like that. Something, they were undead. Um, but we took care of her, but that sort of led to um, other stuff. Other stuff where there's like this um, bunch of, I guess, people, creatures, monsters, evil people, um, who were using or tapping into like some dark energy or something from some alternate dimension or something like that. I don't know, some plane. It was something to do with how they were controlling the gloom or something like that. No, they oozed up the sewers and what was causing the ooze was this artifact thingy that we had sort of heard about. And then we went and we destroyed the artifact thingy, but there were like four sources of power for it. And uh, so we've been trying to deal with those somewhat unsuccessfully. We got one of them. And then the other ones, we, we've had some misadventures. There was a guy we were trying to save from slavery, but he, um, but it was a protection quest and he was, his AI was really dopey. So he just like stormed in and got killed. We freed him. He's like, I must avenge myself and like ran into battle and we had to try to protect him. And he basically just ran too far ahead and died. <laughs> Yeah, he was not a very smart guy. And we're going to have to try again to save him. He respawned. Um, so then, I mean, what's funny is that because, I guess because there's um, rules for AI behavior instead of a person controlling the monsters or whatever, controlling the NPCs, it followed some sort of algorithm, which is very similar to like a computer game. And so like the same thing that happens in a computer game happened in this game, which is like the stupid AI took over and he just ran ahead and we had to try to protect him. Yeah. And unlike in a video game, we couldn't stop what we were doing and like go deal with him. We were kind of stuck. It was not a good day. So we're not doing that quest today. We're doing we, that. What are the other places we had to like go up a mountain and cross a bridge? And now we're back up the mountain after we did some other quests to try to like power up a bit. And, and so we're, now, not even, we're not even visiting grandmother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we didn't go through the woods. We have no cookies, um, but we are back up the mountain and it's called Nightmare Peak. So this should be glorious. Lots of nightmares. Um, I think this one's a boss fight. So we're going to be fighting something called the Winged Horror, who actually looks more like, um, he's not as much uh, HP Lovecraft as he is, um, what is it, Geiger? Is Geiger the one that invented Alien? He's a mm -hmm. bit more like, yeah. 
Oh, my lighting is so bad. You'll have to look at a different one. Sorry about my lighting, everyone. It's really bad. Oh, actually, I have a new thingy. Let me see if that works. Because my lighting is often very bad. I live in a very old house and there's not good lighting. Oops, I'm gonna throw things on the floor. I'm setting up the map right now, so. Um, so if you're not familiar, oh geez, that's not right. Look, I have a ring light. I got a ring light finally. Is awesome. that better? Woo! I look like I look like a normal person, but it's a little bright right in my eyeballs. What's funny is it it looks like because of the lighting, indoor lighting, it uh -huh. looks like for you it's probably like evening. It's not at all. The sun is like right there. Well, actually, it's right over there. Okay, can you see my, there we go. Oh, he's too shiny. <laughs> Maybe I need to put, where can I put the ring light? It's supposed to like go over the camera. Maybe I just need to like, oh, this is a dark and stormy night. I don't know. Maybe. The clippable ring light. No, that's not, that's weird. Maybe I should put it. Hmm. Will it stand up? Oh, it will. That's slightly better. Maybe I should put it over here. That's slightly better. It still looks a bit like I'm at the campfire with the flashlight, though. You look fine to me. OK. Slightly more. I got one because the lights in my office for cl my class is always in the evenings. And then the sun goes down and the lights in my office are not very good. So then I just look like a ghost. And you know, which whatever, but I would like people to know that I'm not a ghost. Not a ghost. <laughs> Do you want to go on record as not a ghost? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. How did the other students look? Um, I think most of, well, some of them are teachers. So they have like these amazing setups that they had to set up because of teaching online. So they're like, they look, they're, they're well lit and they have like a really nice backdrop and all this stuff. And I'm like, got my hot mess behind me and my dogs are like fighting in the background and um, they love each other. For anybody watching who's concerned about the dog fighting ring in my house, they do love each other, but they show it in weird ways. Anyway, so, and, and I have like no lighting. And so it's just like, it just looks like a haunted house. It's just really bad because <laughs> there's like hellhounds and hot mess and a ghost and it's just really bad. So I was like, guess I should get a ring light, be a professional, have some lighting. And then it like, ooh, I think it's making things worse rather than better. Hmm? Look, it's like perfect for doing, <laughs> but that's okay. At least I got one. The first one, the box was empty. Somebody had stolen the ring light out of the box and then they sent me the empty box. Wow. So I it back to the box. Yeah, like legit, it was so weird. I was like, there's nothing in here. There wasn't even a charge cord or anything. There was nothing. And so I tried to send it back and they were like, so you've got these lithium battery stickers all over it. We can't take it unless it's like second day air. And I was like, well, there's literally not a lithium battery. This is a box of boxes. And they said, no, sorry. So I had to repackage the box of boxes so that they would take it because the lithium battery sticker was wrong. So. Then they asked me when I brought it back, like, so what's in here? And I said, boxes, more boxes, just boxes. They sent me empty boxes and they thought it was really funny. And I was like, it was, except for I needed that. <laughs> I needed the thing that was supposed to be in the box. Okay, I think I have it all set, except for the monsters now. I've just got the first room of monsters. Yeah, okay. We have one of these guys. 
And this rubble stuff is difficult terrain. So that's one of those that you need to, to get into. Okay. I looked it up. I was like, what's purple? One of these guys. It's been so long that I don't actually remember. We're we're paying attention to the first <laughs> like the it's the top the top right the top. top left corner, not the top right corner. The top left corner is for two player. And if it's white, then that's when we put it on the board, right? Yes. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I know. Okay, so I think I got it. We just have two guys then at the at the beginning. Yeah, we've only got two guys to start. I should actually probably spawn them. <laughs> yeah, my goodness is correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a really long time. We started playing this what? Uh over a year ago, I think. Yeah, it was like January of 2020, February of 2020, something like that. Because we were all sad about about to be being stuck inside. Or did we? Was it after? I don't remember. It was. We started. We decided to play before the pandemic, mm -hmm. and then it turned into like the perfect thing to do during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, I think our first one. I mean, anyone who's watching this can just go and look at the date on the videos, but I, th I think it was in February. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was right after I got back um, from almost being exposed on Oahu because the, the first Japanese tourist with um, COVID had been on Oahu the week before I was there. And then I ended up staying at the same hotel he stayed at. I did not get COVID though, which was good. That was back when we still thought it would live on surfaces. Mm. This is like a historical record now. Yeah. I got my first vaccine, by the way. So I am halfway to being able to return to some level of normalcy just for myself. I don't have to worry about me getting sick. I will still wear my mask though. Wear your mask, people. I'm curious now, actually. I'm gonna look. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to make it before your meeting if you keep, if we keep stopping to talk about these things. <laughs> uh, are you curious? <laughs> I, I am curious. I'm not going to lie. I'm curious. It's just a click away. <laughs> Episode one, February 7th, 2020. Oh, wow. So it was even before, it was before um, I was almost exposed on Oahu that I wasn't actually exposed, but we weren't sure back then. We were like, <gasps> it was, and then everything else happened. Mm -hmm. since then. So yeah, we're still playing. We still haven't beat the game. I think we still have a fair ways to go. How many? We have no idea. This game is, is, it's definitely a commitment, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. we've only got four out of the bazillion characters. <laughs> I know, and, and I was looking at my thing. I'm not sure I'm going to get a new type of character when my guy, when my girl retires. Mm. So, hmm. That will be sad. But... I'm playing um, Fall, no, Jaws of the Lion with my daughter. So mm -hmm. I'll get to bring some of those characters in. And then I did get Forgotten Circles so that whenever we finish, <laughs> uh, whenever we finish, we can play the expansion, but we have to get through the main game first. <laughs> yeah. And then you also kickstarted the Frost Haven. I did kickstart Frosty, but I'm not, I feel like that's not going to arrive until the fall. So we have to finish by the fall. Okay, <laughs> we have a goal now. <laughs> I think we can, we can try to do that. <laughs> summer. Well, yeah, my summer, I don't have class this summer. So, um, cause yeah, I finished my coursework. Huh? 
I'm almost done my coursework. So then I will have my summer off. And I may have kickstarted a couple of video games too. So I'm like planning on lots of gaming this summer. Awesome. Okay. So um, it, to start, we need to do a city event and then a road event. And then, and do then read the introduction. Get those guys. Let's do the events first. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to do the, I got to get the event cards out because you're stuck doing the event cards, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm I randomly picking them, but you have to actually read them because the text for the cards is no longer in the app. But the app is keeping track of which ones we've done and stuff. Okie dokie. I'm on it. Okay, event number three. Wait, this is a city event? Yes. Okay. As the... As the daylight fades, you find yourselves wandering through a half crowded market street browsing wares. Hey, over here, you turn in the direction of the voice to see a filthy vermling gesturing from a dark alley. Yeah, you grim looking chaps. I have something you might be interested in. The vermling holds out a piece of metal covered in sludge. Found this in the sewer. Writing on it, I don't understand, but I know it's valuable. You can have it for 10 gold. Option A, pay for the thing you never know. Option B, refuse to pay, never trust a vermling. I feel like we got this one before and it was a piece of junk. So I don't remember. I feel like we got it before and maybe it was something good, like an artifact. I don't think it was an artifact. And we already got it if we got, if we did it already. Well, how much money do you have? <laughs> Look, that was my next step. Because if we have a ton of money, then. I have two gold. Let's not do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're refusing to pay. Option uh, B. You laugh and gesture the vermling away. You can recognize a low-life swindler when you see one, and that piece of garbage was just foul. No effect. It goes back in the deck. Okay. Back in the deck. And I tried really hard not to look at the other one. I think, I don't know what we did. Okay. Road event. Yep. Twenty-eight. Okay. As you walk down a dirt path, you see a hard looking mercenary sitting in a patch of grass. He nods as you pass. Hey friends, he says. There's something off about his home though. I don't suppose one of you might be willing to part with a stamina potion, would you? I'm headed toward Gloomhaven, but I've just come such a long way and I'm not feeling too good about the stretch I have left. With the clank of his sword's sheath against his armor and a loud groan, the man stands up. I'll pay you well for it. Option A, sell the man a stamina potion. Option B, politely decline and move quickly on your way. I have a stamina potion, but I need it. Otherwise I will be exhausted on like turn five. Yeah, I, I want to save mine as well because we're about to fight a, fight a boss. Yeah, exactly. So option B, politely decline. Mm -hmm. um, there was something off-putting about that man. You are more than happy to move along and put some distance between you. No effect. And it gets removed from the deck. Removed from the deck. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Uh, are you reading to see if it would have been terrible? <laughs> we would have gained some gold, but um and we could have gained more gold if we had the right person but otherwise if we didn't pay it if we didn't have one it went to be anyway actually it was like a rip in half one so i guess that's removed permanently from the deck <laughs> I, don't know. I don't remember okay And now we need to do these guys. Mm -hmm. Which uh, which scenario is this? Forty six. Are we on difficulty level two or yes. three? Two, because we are pitiful. <laughs> okay. Um.
All right, these are yours. Okay. All right, I am going to do this one. I uh, don't know if you can see. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one. All right, um, I guess I'll read the introduction to the Nightmare Peak. Okie dokie. Our goal is to kill the winged horror, which is a boss at the end, I guess. Okay. With the ice altar destroyed, climbing the rest of the way up the mountain is thankfully uneventful. You are almost enjoying yourself, admiring the view of the entire countryside, when the view grows suddenly dark, despite it only being midday. You're very close to the peak now, and you surmise that this development has something to do with the evil presence at the summit. A sharp screeching rings out, and you crouch down, squinting through the darkness. Near the peak, you see many dark shapes scrabbling and writhing, as if the mountain itself is alive. Squinting further, you notice that the writhing is moving down the mountain toward you. It seems your presence has not gone unnoticed. You ready your weapons and prepare to fight your way to the peak. Nice. It's, it's like um, Night on Bald Mountain in Fantasia. All the mm. like ghosts and goblins and everything having a dance party. Except this is not a dance party. <laughs> It's a party of a different nature. Yeah. I guess we have to decide where we start. Um, yep. I guess I'm going to be front and center. OK. I will be sort of behind to the right of you. Yeah. And we have a nightmare guy and some sort of magic user. Yes, the Savas Ice Storm guy. Two. The night demon attackers gain disadvantage, and the Savas Ice Storm has Pierce of three. But I don't think either of us are really shieldy, so I guess that doesn't really matter. I've got armor and stuff. Oh, OK. I don't. I have a slime minion that is my armor. OK, so Tucker's getting disadvantage. Oh, and he's got range four. Blah, blah. Well, there's rubble in the way. So maybe he'll he'll end up being like around here somewhere, maybe. Okay. And then one, two, three, four. I guess that's within range. <laughs> Sad. I can go right in his face. Whose face, the night demon or the Savas? Either. 
like I have winged shoes. I could I could hop over all this stuff and just be just in this guy's face right off the bat if we wanted. So that way he'd be at disadvantage because he has range, right? Oh yeah. Okay. That sounds good. But then do you think you can like summon guys to deal deal with this guy? Oh sure. Yeah. It's just that I have to go later in the round so that he doesn't just kill them while they're not able to do anything. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot. I've got a thingy. I have a thingy. <laughs> if you would rather, I can just start tanking this guy and then just get hit by this guy and maybe not take that much damage. I think I you should run up you you should run up and get in that guy's face. I can I can deal with this guy. I forgot that now that I'm higher level I have some more options for starting moves. So I I'm all right. Ouch. I'm getting attacked by my table but Hmm. I may have misspoken. Oh, no, good. <laughs> Never mind. It's like, can I actually move that far? I don't know. But yes, I can. This is really, my phone is not very bright. There we go. Jeez. Okay. On Zoom. Yeah, just my phone screen was, it had dimmed, mm -hmm. which didn't help. Okay, so this guy has 12 hit points. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's a lot. It is a lot. I have, hmm, I wonder if this is worth it. I have a retaliate ability. Right. Um, but it, it eats up my card. Oh. It's my new, my new level five ability. I mean, it, and it stays on for the whole thing, right? The whole game, yeah. I, I don't know, because... I don't think we need a ton of cards. It's not a very big thing, but it would be sort of ironic if you ran out of cards. Yeah. I think I'll hold on to it for now because I don't know if this guy's going to be... If he is ranged, then the retaliate doesn't work on him, right? Um, it, 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 would, it works if he's next to you, so if he's at disadvantage. Yeah, but he might run away and then shoot me. Yeah. We don't know. Okay. I have 23. I have 82. Okay. And they have 14. This guy's going first. 14. So he's going to have attack to range four. He's not moving though, so he actually can't hit any of us right now. But he does have retaliate. Mm hmm. Which that kind of sucks. Yeah. And he causes the wind thing. The oh. other guy. We like the wind thing. I have stuff I can use with the wind thing. Okay. The other guy is going to move and attack me.
Oh, and then convert the wind thing to a to a dark. What? Wait, but he's gonna he uh, all adjacent enemies and allies suffer one damage. So he's actually gonna move here probably so that he can deal one damage to you. Right? I guess. Attack me and then deal one damage to each of us is probably what he's gonna do. I don't know if he they do it so that they can attack the most. I guess it counts as an attack. Yeah, I think I think that's what he would do. Okay, well, anyways, okay, so this guy's going first. He's not attacking because we're not in range. He now has retaliate. He caused the wind thing. Wind. Okay. Now this guy moves. He's gonna go, he's gonna move two spaces here. Mm -hmm. Attack me. Attack of three, which I'm going to use my chain mail. Okay. The next two sources of damage from attacks targeting you gain one shield. So <clears throat> it does two damage to me. And then does one damage to each of us. Wait, did you pull a card for him? Oh, no, I didn't. I forgot. <laughs> Plus zero. Yeah, does two damage to me and then does one damage to each of us. And converts the thingy into a dark. Okay. Right? I think so. And then my turn and then your turn. So my turn. First, I'm going to attack this guy who just, no, shit. He has retaliate or something like that, right? No, the other guy has retaliate. You just have disadvantage. Right. Well, I'll attack him at disadvantage. Um, attack of four. Plus one and plus one. So is he dead? So that's an attack of five. Oh, an attack of five. He's not dead. He's got one hit point left. One, two, three, four, five. Um, but I also cause a sun icon to appear. Cool. And then uh, got rid of that ring that heals 25 hit points if there's a sun and a night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, darn. <laughs> sun and a night at the same time and I've already sold it. <laughs> uh, and now I'm going to move five and use my wing shoes. Okay. And go one, two, three, four, five. So uh, he'll be at disadvantage next turn at least. Okay. And now it's your turn. All right. I am summoning two shadow wolves. One right there, and then I'm going to put the other one next to me there. And um, hold on, I have to add everybody in here. Three, one, two, three, one, two, and what the other color green? One, two, three, one, two. Okay, and then my second action is um, um, two summoned allies within range two perform attack with you controlling the actions. I only cast it on the guy that's next to the night demon because mm -hmm. the other guy is not within range. Uh, so he attacks for two at disadvantage, but with Pierce, plus one or plus one. So that guy's dead. Dead. And that's my turn. All right. Next round.
I wish I had a pushback or something. I could push him into a into one of these traps. <clears throat> How many, what are what types of traps are these? Uh, sun traps. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, I could just take it, but no, I don't want to be stunned. Do they do trap damage and stun, or do they just stun? Because it doesn't say. I think it's just stun. OK, because it doesn't say damage. Maybe, hmm. hmm. Maybe I do want to get stunned. <laughs> I'm going to try that. I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm going to try. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to try something too. <laughs> I have uh, 29. I have 45. Four or five. Oh, this guy's dead. Dead, dead. Okay, me first, then you, then the other guy is gonna summon a frost demon. Oh, yippee. I hate frost demons. So we need to kill him <laughs> right yeah. now. But it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna attack him for two and stun. Ah, oh, sweet. Plus zero. So um, two points of damage and he's stunned. Okie dokie. One, two, stun, stun. And then I'm going to move one, two, onto this trap and stun myself. <laughs> Okie dokie. So that I am also stunned. <laughs> but you're now stunned for this next turn, right? My next turn will be stunned, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But that's OK, because he's going to be stunned. And then hopefully I'll go before him and I'll be unstunned or something. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I'm done. It's your turn. OK, my guys start moving. One, two. I guess my first guy moves onto the trap. No, wait. Does he move onto the trap? He can't move into the other one. So yeah, he moves onto the trap and stuns himself. Good job, dude. And then my next guy goes one, two, three to there. And I'm gonna go. So, oh, okay, this works. I'm going one, two, three, and then using two more to get onto this difficult terrain, because um, I moved five. Oh, and I jumped. I can jump. So does that mean that I can move to difficult terrain? Because, OK. So. Then I'm going to move onto this difficult terrain. No, I'm not. Yes, okay. I am. OK, so I've moved on to like the one further. And then I have this. Um, this uh, one adjacent summoned ally per performs move and attack with me controlling the action. So I take my stunned guy and I move him one, two, three next to the dude. Um, he could move four, but there's no reason to make him move four. And now he's going to attack for three and he has pierce plus two. When he's, he's gonna... done, you can make him attack and stuff? Yeah, because I'm controlling the actions. He's like a puppet. Okay. Um, and so he attacked for three plus two, so he attacked for five. So he just hit this guy for five. Wow. Okay. And that is my turn. <clears throat> okay. This guy becomes unstunned, and that's it for his turn. 
Next round. Do you need healing or anything like that? I'm only down one hit point, so no. I, uh, I'm assuming you're going for that chest. Yeah, I guess so. Should I attack this guy or let you attack him? Um. I mean, I was planning to just wail on him. Um. I mean, up to you. If you can do both. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I can do both or if I should, like, activate this. I want a low card. All right, I have 23. I have 32. 32, is that you said? Yep. He has 14. Oh, Ooh, him. Oh, He's been killed four? Yikes. Ugh. Does really? he kill himself? Yes. I think unless it says like heal adjacent allies, it's heal anybody within that range. Okay. So he heals two points of damage and shields up for four. <sighs> but the the thingies are expired already, so he he doesn't get to activate those things. Well that's good at least. But he's shielded for four, which means <laughs> Yeah. That Yikes. You with my piercing wolves. You have piercing wolves. I do have piercing wolves. So the shield doesn't matter. It does because he has shield of four and they only have pierce of two. Oh, yikes. So they have to do at least five damage to get through the shield. Right? No. No, they have to do at least three damage to get you to three okay. damage. Okay, they might be able to do that. I have to do at least five damage. Right, 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 right. Which, okay, so I'm going to try to hit him. I have attack of four. Four plus one, five points. So I do okay. one point of damage. And then... Um, I'm going to move onto the here, onto the chest. Cool. What'd you get? What number is it? 48. Gain 30 gold. How come I always get poisoned and stuff? <laughs> you get gold. It does not seem fair. Dang. Um, okay, your turn. All right. So first, my first wolf guy doesn't have to move. Attacks him for two and pierce two. 
times two, so four. So I guess he does two damage. He does four total. Four total plus he's got two pierce. So that's two two damage, right? Yeah. One, two. And then my other wolf guy goes. Can, you, can your wolf move? He didn't move because he was already right next to the guy. But can he? I mean, would he? Or no. is, is he allowed to? Not allowed to, right? Yeah, he's he's on a monster. Okay. Monster that's because I can do stuff to adjacent people, you know. Yeah, sorry. No, he can't move. So one, two, my other wolf guy moves onto the difficult terrain right behind his friend. Um, and uh, does not attack because he's not close enough. And then I am going to attack for three and pierce of three at range three plus zero. So I also do two damage, right? Because Pierce three, then he's only got one shield, and I hit for three. Yeah. Wait, you do Pierce three? Yes. Attack of three. So so he had four shield. I pierced for three. So it only takes away one, right? Yes, I think so. OK, so then I did two damage. And then um, I'm just going to, I was going to attack again, but with his giant shield, I don't have Pierce on this other one. So I'm just going to take one step off of the difficult terrain. And that is my turn. How far can you move? Two. OK, never mind. Are you yeah. moving towards him or away from him? Towards him. Okay. Oops. Breaking cards. Bad me. I forgot how to shuffle. There. Guess I should wait. I just got chilled for some reason. Hmm. Well, you live where there's actually winter, so. I'm snacking. Okay, I have 18. I have 86. He has 19. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, uh, I am moving two spaces, one, two. To be adjacent to you and your Wolfie. Okay. Um, I'm stunning him. Sweet. So now he's stunned. And then I am blessing you and your Wolf. So you get two blessed cards. Sweet. And I'm supposed to shuffle them in, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. And that, that's my turn. He's stunned. Yep. Um, that's your turn. That's uh, his stun goes away. So my wolfie guy uh, doesn't have to move. Attacks for two. He doesn't have a shield right now, does he? That shield went away, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he attacks him for two and gets the bless right away. So he attacks him for four, so he's dead. Hey. Um, 
My other wolfy guy doesn't do anything because there's not a guy right now. And then I am going to move one, two, three into the doorway. Um, and what do we have? Oh man, a frost demon. Uh, right there. I feel like this is Yeah, and two wind demons. Who, if I remember correctly, are terrible and I hate them. Okay, and then I'm moving back one onto the loot. And that all made a, a wind go. And then I am summoning a slime spirit into the doorway. And that is my turn, and I have to take a short rest. Okay. Um, the wind demons go. They have a move of four. One, two. Do they land on traps? I think that they both, that they're... Um, they just fly, right? They're flying, yeah. One, two, three. Like that? Back to back. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. Then the frost guy moves to one, two. Attack of three, range two. So he attacks your um, summon guy. Hmm. Draws a plus zero. So three, attack of three. Okay, he's got a shield, so he only takes one point of damage. Okay, next round. Oh, wait. Yes, yes, that. Did I? Did I? Was I actually stunned for a turn? You? Oh. I don't know if you stunned yourself for a turn. I think you moved. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, why don't I stun myself this turn, I guess? <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm I'm stunned. That's <laughs> whoops. <laughs> what does that mean? I have 99 or what? Or do I still pick cards or what? I don't know. Because you were stunned going into the turn, so I don't know what that means. Because usually usually you're not, that's not how it happens, right? Although maybe you weren't supposed to be stunned because it's till the beginning of your next turn, right? Or is it until the end of your next turn? I think it's the end of your next turn so you miss a turn. And I don't know what happens. Where's the stupid stun thing? It's on page 22 to 23.
The figure stone cannot perform any abilities. Oh, you could have performed a long rest. Long rest turn, except to perform a long rest. Okay, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to perform a long rest. Okay. So I've got 99. That's good to know. That was not something I was aware of. Okay, I have 32. Okay. The wind demons uh, go first. Um, they have a move of three. They're shielded up and they have a move of three. So, um, one, two, three, I guess. One, two, three, like that. Does that look right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then a range of three. They're both in range. So this guy is shooting him with an attack of one. Okay. Plus one, so two points. But he's shielded, so zero. Okay, the other guy, minus two, does zero. Okay. okay the frost guy. Wait, what did they do to the to what's going on in the they've the, got They've got the um, the thing about using one of the uh, elements. Yeah, but there are no elements. Yes, there is. There's a wind. There is? Oh, I forgot to do that then. Well, they convert it to a wind. <laughs> okay, so it's a wind again. It's a new wind. Um, the frost guy has immobilized targeting all enemies within range two. So it's going to immobilize um, what is this, a slime? Yep, my slime. Okay, your slime is immobilized. Sad. And that's it. Okay. So my slime does not move or hit anything because it's mobilized. My one wolf goes one, two, three, and tries to hit this wind demon for two. Plus one, so three, and he has pierce of two. These guys have shield of three. So he only does um, he does two damage to that wind guy. Two. And then my other wolf guy, I guess he only moves up one because he can't get to the doorway because there's a slime in the way. And then I am going to um, perform an attack of three at range three um, on, actually, I'm going to hit the frost demon. Let's see. Let me make sure. One, two, three. Yep. Um, and I'm using up the wind token. So it's an attack of five at range three with Pierce plus zero. So five damage against him. Five. How much did you do against one of the other guys? One, the wolf? How much did the wolf do? Yeah. Two damage against this frost or this wind guy that's in front. Okay. Okay. And then, um, I'm also going to have my, um, that wolf that is in front again, perform another attack action. Um, so he attacks for two, pierce two again, times two. So he attacks for four. So this guy's dead. And that is my turn. Just about to. That was awesome. Oh, I gotta shuffle this. Thank you. I finally got my summons and everything figured out. I just have to go fast because I run out of cards really quickly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, I performed a long rest. Mm -hmm.
All right, I'm going to try this. I don't know. I have 18. Um, I have 13. OK, you first. OK. So first, I guess Wolf goes. So my wolf moves, I guess, up one in between the two of them. Okay. Um, actually, no, he would go towards the, no, he goes in between the two of them. Um, and he tries to hit the frost demon since the frost demon has earlier initiative for two. Plus one, so he hits him for three. Is that, does he have a shield? Not oh. yet, not his turn. Okay, so he's dead. And then, um, I guess my other wolf goes? I can't figure out which order they go in. I think you get to decide. Okay, well then I'll just have my slime demon go next then. And he moves one, two, next to the wind guy. And your, slime, your slime guy is immobilized. No, he's not because that was, it got immobilized before my last turn. And so it went away at the end of last turn. Okay. So he moves two up next to the wind guy and and my other, the other dude, um, my other wolf. And he hits him for one and muddle. He hits him for three in muddle. So the, the wind guy has a shield, right? Um, yes. Okay, so he hits him for one and muddle. So that guy's now muddled. And then this wolf guy goes one, two, three. Actually, I guess he goes one, two, three because he's trying to get to the wind guy and does nothing else. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, onto this loot, and one adjacent summoned ally performs move plus one, attack plus one, with me controlling the actions. So um, this wolf guy is going to attack the wind demon again for two and pierce plus zero, so two more damage done to that guy. And that is the end of my turn. <laughs> wow. So he's got one left, right? Yep. And he's muddled. Hmm. Um, okay, I'll just do what I was going to do. So I move one, two, three, next to all of you. Um, I shield myself for one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to activate this card. I now have retaliate two for the, for the rest of the thing. Okay. I have minus one to attacks. Okay. That's probably fine since my summons seem to be like storming around. Yeah. Whacking stuff. Okay. On his turn, he has a move of four, attack two, range three, pull one. So he's gonna he's gonna move backward one. And then I guess attack one of your summoned guys, right? Probably. 
If not me, I don't know whether he attacks my summon or me. Your summon guys, I think, have lower initiative. Technically, they go before me. Yeah. So, do you think he would attack the slime or the wolf? The wolf has done way more damage against him. Okay. Does that pole one work on rubble? I don't know. I guess so. Because it's, but it doesn't really do anything, does it? Well, it is an attack of two. So I guess I should draw a card first. Plus zero. So two points, I guess, the wolf. Okay. And pulls the wolf and causes a wind token from here. Ooh. Oh, wait, I need to draw two cards because he's muddled. Yeah, he is muddled. The other one card was a times two, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just like barking. Yeah. Ooh, I have to eat these almonds faster. Please stop going in and out. Thank you, kiddo. You finish your homework. Say hi, Mr. Merck. Hi. How's it going? Huh? How's it going? The dog is bothering you. Very barky. He is very barky. Yeah. He was protective. Yep. So you finished your homework? And you now find your glasses? Yeah. All right, we're like halfway done. Can you come back later? You need either healing or um, cards back? Cards back would, would be good. Um, yeah, cards back would be amazing. Because I'm down to two in my hand and I don't want to play my recover lost cards card yet because I don't have enough lost cards. Yeah. Okay, I have uh, 29. I have 92. Banner, hush! What are you barking at? <laughs> he says sheep. I uh, cause you to recover two of your cards from the discard. Eat. And then I'm going to move three spaces. One, two, three. Okay. Then the wind demon uh, moves and attacks. Shoot, man. It doesn't need to move. It's going to attack me, right? Well, it's a, it's a, oh, he attacks all of us, I think, just attacks, about. Attacks me and this wolf, I think. But th there's a wind, right? Oh, you're right. There is a wind. He attacks, so he attacks, he attacks all of us. He attacks this, this area here. Yeah. So he, he doesn't hit your slime or the other wolf. But okay. he attacks two of us. And it's an attack of three. Great. But he's muddled. No, wait. That was last turn. Sure. No longer muddled, right? Nope. No longer muddled. Okay. He's attacking me first. Minus one. So that's two points. Um, my chain mail's still up. So. 
That's one point on me. And then he gets a retaliate too. Oh, so then he's dead. Yeah. Sweet. Do the other, do the other attacks happen? No, I don't think so, because he hit you first. So you got you whacked him back. And dead. Yay, it worked. Let's retaliate. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay. Um my guys don't move because there's nothing to attack. And I'm going to move. Um Five, I guess. One, two, three, four, but I stunned myself. And then I guess I don't do the other action because I stunned myself. Oh, wait. But before I stunned myself, I totally recovered two, my other two cards out of my discard pile by using my stamina potion. I totally did that first. Totally. Actually, I'm stunned, right? So I can take a long rest on my next turn? Yeah. All right, I'm going to take a long rest on my next turn. So you don't need to use a stamina potion. That is true. So I didn't use the stamina potion. I lied. OK, next round. Um, you're at 99. Mm-hmm. But if, if I open the door, then your guys might move, right? Yep. Uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's too far away. Hmm. Oh, when, I, when I did my move of five, I also made a wind, by the way. OK. Not that it's going to be helpful at all because I can't use the wind, but in case you can use the wind. Ooh, I got, I got a good one. Do you need healing? <laughs> I do not. Sorry. Do I need healing? I guess I could use the healing. What am I at? 13? Uh, yeah. Okay, I have uh, 23. Because it doesn't matter. Draw. Um, I'm going to heal myself. <laughs> I'm going to heal myself for three points. causing a sun to appear. And then I'm going to, um, all allies within range five may move four. OK. Right? Like, I'm assuming your animals can move, even, or your summons can move, even though there's nothing. Like, I'm hoping, I was hoping, what I was planning was that, or what I was hoping was that your, your summons would move four spaces. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess, that way? I guess they can. I don't know that they would because they use the AI and there's no bad guys. There's no oh, enemy. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> if that's true, then I would have played this one instead. Okay. So I'm moving instead, I'm moving. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four spaces um, with my flying boots. Okay. Now I'm done. Okay. I am also done. Mm -hmm. Okay, next round. Next round. I need to like open this door and then run back so that your summons can catch up, right? I'm 
thinking about picking up my summons. Oh. Um, even though, even though this is early to play this card, they're the most they can move is three, and so they're going to get left behind here. So I kind of need to pick them up and move them. Okay. So I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, I have 55. I have 13. OK, first. OK, um, I'm recovering up to four of my lost cards, so the two out of my lost pile and my summons are now all picked up again. And then I am attacking the air. Super exciting. <laughs> I am um, shielding up for the rest of the scenario. Okay. So now I have two shield and two retaliate for the rest of the scenario, basically. Me? Um, and then I'm also attacking the air. <laughs> I also have minus minus two move. No, minus one move and minus one attack. That's no fun. Yeah, but two retaliate, two shield. Yeah, that's not bad. And I'm going to use a stamina potion here and grab two cards back. Good call. We really need to get prosperity up or whatever, whatever it is. Because I need to get a major stamina potion. <laughs> that would be super useful. Do I have to trade my minor stamina for a major stamina? Like, I don't think I can have a minor and a major. I don't know. Um, no, I, it just says characters cannot own more than one copy of any item card. So that means that I could have, um, I could have a ma minor and a major. Okay, I have uh, 56. I have 86. Oops. Five, six, eight, six. Okay, I am first. Yeesh. <laughs> I'm going to move. Um, into the doorway. Okay. okay, you make your way through the dark fog and find a small clearing at the summit. The screech once again pierces your ears and a massive demon with a multitude of sharp claws and leathery wings lands before you. You dare approach my nest? You can barely make out the words from its high-pitched wailing. I will harvest your oh, high-pitched. Maybe you should be reading this guy. <laughs> I will harvest your corpses and feed them to my children. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's got two of these guys with him. Yeah. They're going to summon frost demons. They are? 
Boo. I mean, that's one of their things. He, after wing horror attacks, all eggs current on a map are destroyed. Eggs? Eggs. Summons a number of eggs equals the number of characters. Two eggs. So he's going to summon eggs. <laughs> And then what do the eggs do? They turn into night demons. They turn into night demons. Oh man, this is terrible. Well, all we have to do is kill him. That's true, yeah. Okay, so I moved two. Um, I can still move two more. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm moving away. Wait, let's find out what they're doing. So and this everything except to mobilize two and three what is special one he's gonna attack so he has attack three target all adjacent enemies attack four range three hatch eggs summon eggs move and attack that's that's the other one. That's special two. Oh, special one is uh, it's just eggs, all eggs will hatch. Yeah, it's that first one. It's up to where it says summon. It's hatch eggs is the end of it. It looks like. Got it. So he's going to attack three target all adjacent enemies and then attack four range three. Yes, but he's not going to move. That's true. So if I can get out of range, you won't hit me. Oh, I am out of range already. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other guys, they're going to push to target all adjacent enemies. So they're, they're not, oh, they have a range of five. You are within range for both of those guys. Okay, I need to back up. Mm -hmm. Back up two spaces, I guess. Okay. And then my other thing is attack the air. Okay. Um, so these guys attack nothing because I'm no longer in range. This guy also attacks nothing because I'm not in range and he hatches the non-existing eggs. So now it's your turn. Okay. I am moving five. One, two, three, four, five. And causing a wind. And then I am summoning a slime spirit. I'm going to make him the same that he was before. Um, Where? Uh, kind of in between you and me. OK. Um, and that you is my camera turn. down a little bit. Huh? You put oh, your camera down. Uh, sorry. Oh, let me. Um, That's fine. It's good. There. Is that better? Okay. Okay. So that's my turn. Okay. Next round. Ugh. I have 85. <laughs> I'm going to say that I have 32. OK, you go first. OK. Oh, good. He's not doing a special. OK, so my slime spirit guy goes one, two, three into the room. And then um, I am sh summoning my two shadow wolves again. I'm going to put one in front of me and one behind me. Oh, I forgot to do this. One, two, three. Oops. Four.
Okay, and then I'm uh, moving three and one adjacent summoned ally performs move three. So the shadow wolf and I go one, two, three, one, two, three. And hopefully they don't have, yeah, neither of them is ranged right now or not ranged enough anyway. Where did you summon them? I summoned one behind me and one in front of me. And then moved him. And then moved him. So now I'm in the doorway and my slime guy and my wolf guy are in front of me. OK. Yes. And that is my turn. OK. These guys have a move of two, one, two, I guess. And we'll hit your wolf. Right. Um, this guy will hit your wolf because he's got that cone thingy. Yeah. Um, attack a one plus zero, one point. Okay. And he causes a frost to appear. Okay. The other guy moves. Ooh, he's got rubble in the way. I guess he moves here and can't attack. He's not in range. OK. Then the winged horror moves four and attack four. So he's going to move two, I guess, right here. Mm -hmm. And attack, what do we think, your slime guy or a wolf? Or can we We get to choose, right? I guess so, yeah. I say slime guy. The slime. Hmm? the slime guy's got a shield. Yeah, so, let's choose yeah. him. Yeah. So the winged horror gets a plus one, so that's five total minus two, three, three points. Okie dokie. Um, and now it's my turn. I should have done my living bomb instead of my wolves. Mm. Oh, well. Oh, I still have my ring of skulls, too. I'm going to start using items. Ooh, that's a good idea. I'm going to take this front bit off so that I can move this around. Uh, you would it be helpful if I moved you? <laughs> um, maybe back so that I'm not going to be in range. I can do all allies within range five can move four spaces. Oh, so like we could position. We could reposition all of us if we wanted to. That that might be good. I don't think these two guys that are in front would move because they're like right next to the dude. So like they wouldn't want to move, but this guy wants to move up for sure. Yeah. It eats up one of my cards though, is the problem. Oh, uh, okay. But I mean, this is the last fight. Sure, I'll burn it. Okay. So your wolf can move four spaces now and you can move four spaces. Okay, I'm gonna move back to and let him move up one, two, three, four into the doorway. Okay. And then my other um, thing is I'm gonna attack the air. Okay. And I have to perform a short rest now. Okay. The next round. You know what I just realized? When I did a long rest, I forgot to heal myself. So I think I'm at full points. Yeah. I wondered about that after I did mine. OK, well, hopefully we don't need healing because I just lost my heal card. <laughs>
All right, we need to, we want to just kill him as fast as possible, right? Yes. One, two, Right, I have, um, oh geez. Ugh, this is terrible. I have 56. I have 45. Yeah, he goes first. He's gonna uh, eggs. <laughs> so he uh, he's gonna perform a tax listed summons the number of eggs equal to the number of characters. So two eggs. Each egg represented by number of tokens. By numbered tokens has two plus level divided by two hit points. So three hit points. We could kill the eggs before they hatch. Okay. So first, so he's gonna summon and then move and attack, right? Or move and attack and then summon or whatever. Um, well, he doesn't have to move. He's gonna yeah. attack. Well, first he's, a, he's doing the eggs. Yeah. Which have three hit points. So those are like there and there, right? Here and here. I used, I'm using the stand to. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. No, we get to determine where he puts them, right? Yeah. Well, I, I guess. Because I want to move there. Okay, that's fine. We're behind him. Um, and then he attacks the slime again. Attack of four. Minus one, three points, minus two, one point to the slime. I was going to heal him this turn, but he is now dead. Sad face. Um, now it's your turn. Okay. All right, so my wolf guy, the first wolf guy attacks him for two with pierce of two plus one attacks him for three one two three my second wolf guy moves up right next to the first wolf guy and attacks him for two plus one for three and then um i am healing my one wolf guy who's got one hit point off and i'm also using my minor stamina potion to get these two cards back. And I am now summoning a skeleton right next to me. Uh, he is not very powerful, but that's okay. I'm just trying to throw everything I've got at the guy at this point. Yeah. Um, and then hmm. then I'm going to summon a living bomb. <laughs> he should have summoned him earlier. And What does he have? Oh, he's only got one life. Ridiculous. One, two, three, one, two. And then I have this card that's attack X, range X, where X is the number of all summoned allies. I have four. So it's wow. attack four, range four. One, two, three, four. So I'm attacking him for four times two. I'm attacking him for eight. Holy shit. And 
That is my turn. Wow, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I might be able to kill him. Um, <laughs> of course, I can't do anything else pretty much for the rest of the of the thing. Oh, my light is starting to go out. I need to move it closer. It's losing its. its oh, it's light. battery powered. It's battery powered. Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm moving four spaces. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna hit him for two and stun him. <laughs> Sweet. I'll hit him for two, minus one. Hit him for one, <laughs> but stunned. Not stunned because he's immune. Oh, he's immune. Ooh. Ooh. I should have done one of these then. I forgot he was immune. Oh well. Um, okay, those guys. Push two. Target all adjacent enemies. Nothing. Attack three, range five. So the first guy shoots this wolf, draws a plus one, four damage. He did. Wolfie. The second guy, I think, shoots me because I'm closest, right? Yeah, I think so. Draws a negative one, so it hits me for two. I have two shield, so it does nothing. Okay. There goes my chain mail. My chain mail is like used up. Um, and now it's the next round. And we totally got this now because he only has one hit point. Mm -hmm. I have 23. I have 32. He has 14. Dang it. And he hatches eggs. Ugh. No, he summons eggs. Special two. Oh, he summons eggs? Okay. But he can only summon one egg because he's out of spots. Yeah. So he, he summons an egg. And then moves three and attacks four. Um, attacks me, I believe. Yeah. So he attacks me for four times two. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hits me for eight. Um, I have two shields, so it hits me for six. I do two retaliate, and he's dead. Dead, yay! Do we finish the round? I think we finished the round, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so he's dead. Um, those guys have attack two, range four, and retaliate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, attack two. This guy shoots me because we're equidistant. Mm -hmm. Are you going to die? <laughs> For minus two. No, he does zero points. Okay. Causes the wind to appear. The other guy also shoots me, draws a plus zero. So that's two points minus two because of my, oh, minus one. So it does one point of damage to you. Um, and now it's my turn. Well, now it's over, right? Like they don't have any more moves. Yeah, we don't have to. They're gone. Wait, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this though, because then I get an experience point. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. Oh, wait a second. I already used this one. This is the one where I let your wolf move. Hmm. I guess I'll pick a different one.
I'm gonna bless this wolf. <laughs> okay. And that's, it. that's my turn. <laughs> blessed. Thanks. And now it's your turn. And I'm gonna just attack the air and attack the air, and all my guys are attacking the air at the end. Okay. Because I don't feel like moving all my dudes around. <laughs> Uh, there's four. Oh no, there's only three of them now. Three of them. A lot of them. Okay, I will read the conclusion. The giant demon screeches one last time. It's, I don't know how to say this, timber, I guess, and intensity modulating wildly as it spasms in its death throes. Not wanting to get close to its flailing claws, you wait for the creature to expire. When it finally does, a stillness washes over the area and day once again breaks in the sky above. The view is grand, apart from the blood and carnage that litters the peak. You take it all in and then slowly begin to make your way back down the mountain, satisfied that whatever evil was lurking here will no longer trouble Gloomhaven. So we have a new location, which is the void, and we get another end of corruption achievement. Yay. So, oh, we already had the void. We double have the void now. Okay. How many of those end of corruption achievements do we need? We need three of them, I think. Three? Okay. So we have two now, right? Yep, we have two. And we have two ancient technology as well, which is one we were trying to get the ancient technology ones. Okay. And then experience. We get eight for finishing the scenario. And then how many did I get? 14, not bad. And then how much gold is each gold worth? Three, so six gold. Gosh, I'm just rolling in gold. I have a luxurious eight gold. <laughs> So I don't remember what's next. I guess maybe the slave pens again. I guess so, yeah. Let me look at what the, is required for the void. I think we have to have. Did you do your yeah. special card? I did not do my special card. Usually it would have been easy. I did, it was have three or fewer total cards in your hand and discard at the end of the scenario. And usually I've down to like nothing. Mm. Didn't make it. Mine's the opposite. Have five or more car cards in your hand and discard, which I totally did. <laughs> That's how many I had. I had five. Good grief. I was too good about saving them. Okay, so the void we can't do until we've done end of corruption times three. So we have to go back and do slave pens. Because that is what is needed. Where's my high school pen? There it is. So sadly, we have to go deal with that dude. Nightmare peak completed. What do I have? So yes, tune in next time when we try a protection quest again. Who invented protection quests? The worst. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we could go do some of those other side quests first, but I don't know. It's still level five. <laughs> I have nothing I can do. I I have because I just made that other level. So I'm just useless. Uninteresting right now. Well, that was exciting. That was exciting. We beat the boss monster. Way easier than I thought it would be, actually. Yeah, I think it's time to 
take a step up to level three. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe we want to do the stupid escort quest first and then, then bump it to level three. <laughs> Agreed, because stupid escort quests are always eight times harder than they need to be for ridiculous reasons. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, I should go eat something before my meeting. Maybe next week. Oh, we should probably talk about this pandemic thing. So, yeah. Well the Well Played Journal is doing a pandemic issue. Mm -hmm. about Are playing. we still recording? Not that we don't. What, say again? Are we still recording? Yeah. Do you want me to turn it off? I don't know. It's up to you. I don't know. Ooh. We're going to talk about stuff. Bye. Um. <laughs>